I am the Christ embodied, and this is my story and legacy on earth. Everyone always looks at my light, but they cannot see all of the darkness that I have to move into and move through in experience in order for that light of the Christ to be sustained in this world, the illumined light and the immaculate child that lives within me. Most would think that somehow everything is just self-obvious, so they take my gift for granted. They do not fully understand and comprehend what true service, selfless risks, all the pain endured is present and what all is at stake. Most are often swimming in the fog of insomnia, hypnosis, paralysis, and illusion. They are asleep. And as the one Christ child fully awake since the birth, I am able to feel it all so very deeply. But in this, I walked alone all of my life. No one ever truly, fully understood me and the pure child inside that I created in this life. But everyone else could do it as well. And that is how the true love of Divine Mother feels like, and how all the children can be, and what becomes of it once you are a true human angel of Christ. And that in spite of all the suffering, one can be like that, because that is what the Christ is. It is life eternal and everlasting, and nothing and no one is above it. Nothing can truly hijack or contain it. Nothing can imprison it. It is completely interdependent on its own as fully sovereign and free. It is fully liberated and luminous. It is a space where no wound, trauma, and pain can exist. It is a space of total reverence and love, not just divine love, but love in all of its forms, human as well. This love of the Christ is the absolute and the ultimate gift of God and divine love. In itself, it possesses all the higher refined life qualities which anyone can then embody in any given form, including as a human being, especially the human being. But not everyone will receive the Christ yet because of its utter simplicity in this world of complexity and duality when most are expecting that the higher is more complex and advanced and hence they're almost programmed to receive it through the mind. But you cannot receive the Christ through the mind. You have to be completely innocent as the child, pure and receptive without any prejudice or expectations which are truly self-judgments, products of the internal illusory states of the mind blended with the outside inceptions and projections. The true gift of the Christ can only be received as an actual experience, a physical one, not just a spiritual one. For that, one has to have humility of heart. They have to possess such faith in the divine that it is neither blind faith nor fanaticism. It has to be genuine like the love of the child. But in the world, almost obsessed with knowledge, achievement and advancement, that is rather difficult to possess from within. That is why so very few will actually receive me and the gift of the Christ, the true gift of the glory and victory of Christ. However so, the gift of the illumined seed shall continue on and it will gradually seed everyone who, at a soul level, desires to return to the immaculate state of life, that which the Christ truly is. The gift of God was already given to all beings at the point of their immaculate birth in all of creation. 
And now, they must simply open up their selves fully in order to receive it in complete embrace. I am that gift, the essence and the meaning of life. I am the Christ, life eternal and everlasting. Will you let me in? There is no greater power than the Christ within me. I now send forth my word that carries the power of the Christ. There is no greater power than my word of the Christ. Now I send forth my word in complete alignment as infinite and perfect. And I thank you, beloved God, that I am for all of your love, support, and guidance in all of this.